Hi, welcome to my tips and tricks. My name is Brett Combs. I'm an applications engineer out of the Richmond, Virginia office. Today, we're going to be looking at the standalone SOLIDWORKS application called Task Scheduler. Task Scheduler is a great way that allows users to automate simple tasks, even lets them schedule them for another date, perhaps during offline business hours. What I'm going to be doing today is updating a custom property field that is stored within the part file and can be found within the drawings on several different parts and drawings within a project. So I'm looking at my drawing now and you can see down here I've got a project custom property field and the values entitled hanger bracket. Now since this custom property field is stored within the part file, let's go ahead and open up the part and just take a look. So here we see our custom property data project is entitled hanger bracket but i got a call from my customer and they requested that i add their company name to the project calling it acme hanger bracket so let's go ahead and do that by closing solidworks down since this is a standalone application i actually don't even have to have it open let's go and do a quick search in windows and look for my solidworks task scheduler and open up the windows application here so now we are working in the user interface where I've got a lot of different tasks that I can complete, whether it's converting a bunch of different files, batch printing a bunch of files, importing or exporting. What I'm interested in doing is updating a custom property field. So I'll go ahead and launch that. And the first thing it asks me is if I want to give this task a name and how often do I want to run it? Am I interested in doing it you know, daily or weekly or even monthly? But we're just going to do it once. Now over here, I'm gonna add a folder location and search for my project data. Now since the uh, project custom property is stored within the part file, I don't need to include all the other different file types here. So I'm gonna truncate my list to only include the SOLIDWORKS part file. I'll go ahead and hit next. And the next thing it's gonna ask me for is the custom property field what type of custom property it is, and the new value. So my custom property field is going to be entitled project. The value is going to be a type of text. And then the new value will include the customer name, Acme. When I'm done, I'll go ahead and hit finish. And since it's scheduled for an immediate date, it's going to go ahead and run it. What the task scheduler is going to do is open up SOLIDWORKS look for the file, look for the custom property data, and update it on every single part. You can see this could be a pretty tedious process if you had to do this manually. Now that it's done, I could just refresh it and get my report to let me know what it's, what it's done. So we can see the time that it started, when it finished, the custom property data field, the new value that was applied, and the different part files that it applied it to. Let's just confirm by opening up the part and the drawing within SOLIDWORKS. So going to my custom properties, you can see now the custom property data field project includes the ACME part of the hanger bracket. Let's just confirm that my drawing also looks the same. And we can see it's been updated here as well. So thank you for tuning in for my tips and tricks on updating a custom property using Task Scheduler.